Dogs bark or growl and cats purr, hiss, and meow. What causes these different sounds? What is a sound any anyway? What is sound energy? What is sound? Sound is a wave of vibrations that spreads from its source. Vibration is the back and forth motion of an object. As sound waves travel through a material, the molecules that make it up make it up vibrate in a kind of pattern. They get closer together and then farther apart. They bump into other particles, causing them to move in a similar way. The areas where the particles are very close together are called crests. The number of crests that pass by a point each second is the wave's frequency. Frequency is also a measure of how fast particles are vibrating. The greater the frequency is, the higher the pitch of the sound. Why are some, some sounds louder than others? Because the source of the louder sounds is vibrating more. These sound waves have more energy. The, this energy squeezes the particles at the crests closer together. A sound's loudness can be measured in units called decibels. As the loudness of a sound increases by 10 decibels, the sound carries 10 times more energy. Your voice. Your vocal cords vibrate when you talk. The vibrations are caused by air rushing past them. Your vocal cords make the particles in the air around them vibrate. These vibrations travel outward through the air as sound waves. The sound waves travel in all directions. Even someone behind you can hear what you are saying. Here's a graphic of a noise thermometer or decibel levels. As you can see, down at the bottom, 30 decibel, decibels is a faint whisper sound. In the middle um, of the noise thermometer, at about 105 decibels, it could cause hearing damage um, if you are listening to a jackhammer or a helicopter for longer than one hour. At the top is 140 decibels, and this can cause immediate danger to hearing. These, these include gunshots, jet engines at takeoff. If you hear sounds that are louder than 90 decibels on a regular basis, you risk gradual hearing loss. Sounds louder than 100 decibels can do permanent damage to your ears in a very short time. So how does sound behave? Sound can travel through solids, liquids, and gases, but it cannot travel through a vacuum, which is an empty space that contains no particles. Without vibrating particles, sound cannot exist. When sound waves reach a border between different materials, three things can happen. They can bounce back from the border, they can be absorbed by the border, and they can pass into the second material, past the border. The speed at which sound tra waves travel is different in different materials. In the ocean, sound travels about 1,500 meters per second. In air at zero degrees Celsius or freezing, sound travels about 330 meters per second. As conditions in any material change, the speed of sound in that material changes somewhat too. In air, the speed of sound depends in part on the air's temperature. What happens when sound waves in air hit a surface such as a wall or cliff? Some of the waves bounce or reflect back. We call reflection of sound off a wall or cliff an echo. Perhaps you have heard sound reflected as echoes. You can best hear your own echo when you are facing the wall and your sound waves hit the wall at a 90 degree angle. Here's an example of the speed of sound. So at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, air can travel 1,087 1, feet per second. And here's more examples. I know it's a little blurry, but do your best to read.